Welcome to summer in Texas. Okay, so um, I was on my way to Alabama and I had to take a detour because my... So I was in Kansas plugged in at a state park for three days and when I unplugged I realized that my batteries were drained. And then I drove to Oklahoma and noticed that my batteries weren't being charged from the alternator when I drove. So something's going on. So I stopped by home. So I'm here with family in Texas. It is hot as hell, obviously. But we've been trying to diagnose it. We checked the solenoid relay that's connected to the isolator, the multi -is the multi-battery isolator box under the hood. We checked the volts coming out and going in. And so then we I know it's dark in here, but I don't have power, so I can't turn the light on. Um, so then we started checking all these connections. So this is the main power. This is the batter the battery house battery off and on switch. And then the second one is a 80 amp isolator reset button. It's a circuit breaker essentially. And the bottom one is my my LP on and off. So and I think this is just a relay switch or some sort of a circuit breaker I'm not sure but anyway so what we what we when I say we I see I say my brother-in-law because I don't know what the hell I'm doing clearly so we um he tested the volts coming in and out of this and this is the only spot where we can see that we're losing power um, and so what we did was ordered another one of these guys uh today's thursday and it doesn't get here until monday so we have to wait to install that and see if that is the problem i can't imagine what else it could be we've tested everything else so uh fingers crossed that it's just that isolator reset button and um because it's it's recessed right now and when i go around and can't it's like locked in that's what's going on with me I've, um, it's it's been a week since I've been here and I think I'm losing track of time I don't know. <laughs> but everything's okay um, just working through some things and Drezzy's inside in the air conditioning he's fine um, gonna leave here hopefully on Tuesday and head east to Alabama and more on that later <sighs> but I'm also having the other issue still that I've been having for a year now with the engine when the engine is warm and especially when it's a hot day whether I'm running the AC or not it will die when I'm idling when I'm at a stoplight when I'm sitting and not moving it will shake and then idle and die so, I still don't know what's going on with that. I I just haven't had a chance to be able to move out of the van long enough for someone to diagnose it because I need to take the whole doghouse off and it's going to be a long process. But I definitely need to get it fixed because it's really annoying when it's the summer and you, you have to be driving in order for the van to run. That's really annoying. So... Am I frustrated? Yeah, but could it be worse? Yeah. So I just have to count my blessings and just be thankful of having family to help you out when times are rough and and friends who will stay on the phone with you and walk you through problems and yeah. So that's that's me right now. Um I'll check back in with you later when it's fixed. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at his belly. Look at his belly. Oh my god, nice. Is it a heart? No, not quite.
You wanna fight? You wanna fight, little girl? Come on, put your dupes up. Oh my goodness. I got your foot. What are you gonna do? You got your foot. Oh, I got both of them. Oh, shit. Ooh, she's feisty. Oh, boy. Don't fall. <laughs> no. Now you're gonna be cute. Mm hmm. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Hi. out of North Texas today. It is three o'clock and it's already 101, triple digits all week. So, <laughs> Jersey, Jersey was panting while I had to stop and get gas, poor baby. So, I have 10, a little over 10 hours to drive until I reach my destination. <laughs> 